lunchtime. Mm. Time to take a break. Mm. <laughs> oh my god I hate when that gets stuck in my gap <laughs> welcome to Gino's garden come on in it's been a hundred days since we planted our vegetables here for the fall vegetables in South Texas remember two growing seasons and I have broccoli stuck in my throat. Wow, thank God for that dental floss. Last time I filmed was 45 days and there was bugs on our brock, uh, excuse me, the bugs were on the cabbage. And I went back and rubbed all the bugs off as much as possible. And the leaves looked pretty, really, really dark purple. So they were stressing out, basically. Uh, so I did that and I left it go. Now, we had the temperature go down three times to 33 degrees. And uh, one time is only like 31. So it helped with bugs down here. And we did have a little sleet. Okay, take a look real quick at the sleet. wild right uh, so getting back to the bugs I filmed it I showed you how it was you know pretty bad look at it again and actually look at all the cabbage real quick but just check out the ones that the, you can see the new leaves are coming out the center and they're a lighter purple compared to the dark purple and the bottom ones have holes in the leaves take a look at that Pretty wild, right? Documentation here, show you what happens in the garden. Another thing on our cauliflower, you know, I planted them and uh, one or two, uh, we had a storm come in and they kind of got flattened a little bit and they grew back, but they didn't grow back. You know, there was one stalk. They grew back as five or six stalks. Take a look at that real quick. As you can see, some of the cauliflower right here, uh, it, it's looking really good, looking healthy. Uh, but that one, and actually there is two, one's not doing so well, but we're gonna check, we'll keep an eye on that one. But uh, you can see the difference, even on the height, when you look at all of them. But it's supposed to be one stalk, you know. I don't know, but take a look at the cauliflower. Now, broccoli, come on. You can't go wrong with broccoli. Uh, for your children, for your family. Remember, when you're gonna plant something, plant something your family likes or loves. So you're not wasting the vegetables. And then once in a while, plant something different to change it up a little bit, you know? Uh, but when in doubt too, put cheese on it for the kids. So, we have the Brussels sprouts last here with the broccoli. 
Uh, the Brussels sprouts, when you look at them, the little tiny little balls are coming out of the stem. So you can see that when you look at the Brussels sprouts, but take a look at that real quick, the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts. Pretty great, huh? Having your own garden. Plant something in the ground. Enjoy, watch it grow. You know, down here, we're in the middle of January, say 10 days into January. Uh, it's 80 degrees today. I know it's pretty cold up north. And you can see how the leaves, our leaves off the trees usually fall December, January. So ours are falling right now in January. And next month, everything's gonna start growing again. Organic gardening, try it. Remember, we use rabbit poop here. Go back to my secret sauce. Uh, I think it's one video 194 for the vegetable garden. That's what our ground is all about. Now, I need to get back to work. So, from Gino's garden, happy gardening. Ciao, baby.